Hello and welcome to the Alpha Movement Podcast. My name is Tom Foxley and on today's show we are going to be attacking morning routines. It is another solo effort by myself because I've been asked so many times what a good morning routine is and what constituents, constituents, um, what makes up a good morning routine and it basically comes down to the purpose of it, what you're trying to get to it. For me, I want to install a a kind of, if you're going to be rather pompous, rather pompous, um, you want to call it ataraxia, which is what the Stoics call it. It's like the sense of tran- tranquility and calm um, throughout the day. And this is the purpose of my morning routine. It sets me up. I get some good shit done. I feel great by the end of it. So I kind of, this takes two hours. Okay. It takes, it takes a long time for me to do, but there's a reason why I do it. And because if I don't do this, I kind of rush through the day and I don't get any shit done. I'm not present when I'm with um, the people that I love. I'm not present in my work. I'm, I don't put out the best work and I don't train as well as I could do either. And it's kind of like, it's a sanctuary for me. When I get up and I kind of nail my morning routine, the rest of the day flows better. And also because I'm, I'm naturally an introvert, so I, I do best by by fueling myself I feel better when I've spent some time in each day by myself it works really well for me but the the habits that we create and the reason why I want a morning routine is because it's a habit it facilitates perpetual um perpetual motivation so it's very easy to get kind of pumped up and Brian and Carrie will talk about this whole the whole time in their training they did in the academy the it's very easy to get pumped up and motivated and then that fades away but the habits that you form and um, the habits that you practice on a daily basis kind of make you who you are. So the other thing that's quite important to, before we get into this is to understand the 80-20 principle applies to this, the kind of the minimum effective dose slash 80-20 principle. Um, you're not going to hit your morning routine perfectly 100, um, 100% of the time. So if you can hit it 80% of the time, you're going to get a lot of the results from it. So just that consistency is is awesome. But if I don't hit, like I've got so many different parts of my morning routine that if I don't hit one or two parts, it's not a big deal. I just try and hit 80% of them and hit 80% of them consistently. And generally that makes up um, makes me a lot better. Like kind of five to six days out of seven, I will make sure I nail this. And then if it goes wayward on a Sunday, that's absolutely cool. So my morning routine, it starts off with um, getting up at 5.30. There's a reason why I get up at 5.30 and um, basically because it takes a long time to do my morning routine. And I wanted to make sure that happens. Because of this, I've I've started experimenting with polyphasic sleeping again, um, which is basically a nap in the middle of the day. And it works great for me. It works really, really well. Um, it works for me because I, I run my own businesses. And because of that, it works great. But some people it might not work for. But what I'm saying, the important part of that is just get out just like get out of bed like it's um, sleep's very important yes but so starting your day in the correct way and if you start it correctly you'll feel amazing by the end so i get up 5 30 i wander out of bed grab myself some water i make my bed at the same time um because it if all goes tits up during the day i come back to a nice made bed and it feels great at least i've accomplished one thing first thing in the morning um and then i get up i grab myself a pint of water down that I'll stick the water on, um, I'll stick the water on boil on the kettle. And this is for my coffee. And I use a company called Cafe Direct to order me some delicious coffee every month. Um, and then I do, it's kind of like sacrilege doing this, but I make about 75 to 80% of that into a bulletproof coffee. So some butternut and some coconut oil. And then I will taste the rest in a kind of, um, in, in just like a normal mug just by itself and to check my brewing methods because I'm a pompous twat like that. So I'll have that whilst that's um, whilst that's brewing. I will um, start my journaling practice because I walk out of my room with four books. One of them is my journal, and that kind of it is something that Brian and Carrie taught me. Um, but it's something that, and by the way, there's a free video of this. You can search out if you go to Alpha Athletes page two point oh. But the journaling practice for me is it's a way to check in on my mindset for today and see where I am it's kind of like a barometer charge and also like identifying my self-talk which if you listen to Brian and Carries, I'm going to mention the whole time um, throughout this episode because they have created this morning routine essentially for me they've kind of enabled me to make this morning routine and it's changed my life I can't can't say it enough but yeah so they've they've helped me develop this journaling practice um, and it just makes me identify with my 
my internal monologue really. So I'll be I'll do I'll do that. I will, um, and that takes about two minutes. It's not a kind of, it's not a long old process. It's just listening to my internal language. I will then read Ryan Holiday's new book, The Daily Stoic, and it is phenomenal. Okay, so it's the daily reader for Stoicism. As um, you'll be aware, I am a great fan of Stoicism and trying to apply it to my life as much as I can. And that is one page a day, and it's just like a quick short dose of stoicism this kind of like sets my mind in the right place i'll then go back pour my coffee um and and blend up and i'll come back and i'll start to plan out my day in like kind of in half hour blocks i use the self journal which is fantastic um there's a few kind of excess pages in there but i kind of i just use the planning section and that works really well for me and then when i've done that I will go on to Victor Frank. Um, sorry, I'll go on to like a, a kind of one book that is going to really give me an education outside of what I normally do. At the me at the moment, sorry, this is um, Black Hole Wars. I can't remember who it's by. I can see it somewhere. Um, Leonard Siskins. There we go. Um, it is all about black holes, as you'd imagine, um, and it's kind of giving me knowledge outside of my normal area of expertise because this helps me to think about things in a different light um, expand my horizons not black hole horizons if you're if you're going to make a shitty joke like that um, and this just makes me feel fucking awesome to be honest um, because I'm educating myself it's kind of by that point it's six o'clock in the morning no one else is up and I'm learning about black holes because I'm a geek before that before that book I was reading Victor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning so Man's Search for Meaning um, is a book by a war oh, what's the best way he was in a concentration camp for a long time before then he was a psychologist and he discovered the true meaning of life basically and he says um love and experiencing hardship is basically it fits very well for the stoicism and because of this like the way that this book has changed the way i i view the world like this is the third time i've read it I have put it in the Alpha Movements book club, which will be soon. Uh, I'm updating the website at the moment, but it will be the first book in the book club is Victor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning. Um, it is there, like, honestly, if you haven't read it already, just get it, read it, like, experience what it can do for you. It is a phenomenal book. So all of that, that has taken me about an hour and 10 minutes to get to that point. So by that point, I'll feel great. I've accomplished something. I've planned out my day by the half hour intervals. Um, my, my diary planning thing is a kind of a whole new, a whole new uh, realm of itself. It's, it's very difficult to kind of explain and it's very intricate, but it works for me. And the other thing to say about this is this is something that's developed over time. I've played with what works. I've like found what doesn't work for me. And I found at the moment, this is the thing that works for me. I'll then go into my kind of meditation practice. Um, meditation is a very loose word, but it essentially for me it is the Wim Hof method combined with some visualization work um, imagination theater that Brian and Carrie have developed for me um, I say developed for me they've given me the information that I need to develop it myself and that's why I got them in the academy because they they're taking us through all this amazing training and it just it just works it works so well and so I, I'm doing the Wim Hof method at the same time and this, if you haven't heard of it already, it involves a series of controlled hyperventilations um, with some some breath holds in the exhale and the inhale. And on the exhale, on the hold there, I will kind of do goals and inspiration statements, which is, again, something that Brian and Carrie have helped me develop. Um, this kind of sets my mind in the right place. I'm thinking about my goals from the, the very beginning. And then the on the inhale hold, I will do some visualization work, like I mentioned already. And this is kind of visualizing where I want to be. And this sounds very woo woo and bullshit, but what this does is it activates something called your reticular activation system. And this, what this basically is, is if you give your your ba your brain is very very malleable. If you give it a target, and or basically it gets the best way of saying this is it gets confused between reality and and goals and your imagination and the stories you tell yourself will predict your your outcome and your actions so by giving ourselves a an imagined goal your brain gets confused and it will start to figure out the solution to that problem so i've got that three part 
like meditation practice slash Wim Hof method. Um, and then I will go into some handstand practice because I want to move. So I'll do some light mobility work, um, like very rarely, but most of it is handstand practice because I have this goal of hitting a one minute freestand, hand, freestanding handstand. And Keith Petit was a huge part in, in suggesting this to me. He was awesome. And um, he, so every morning I just play around with some handstands against the wall, belly to the wall handstands, and maybe some shoulder taps. And then as, as Ryan Hurst from GMB suggested, I just play around with handstands. I'd maybe do some handstand walking. Um, I do some shoulder taps. I just kind of jump into a handstand and see if I can hold it. What's kind of stuff and I play. And this kind of gives me the variety that I need to kind of, avoid boredom and also make gains in in a way that i wouldn't usually do and then on to my bathroom habits this is kind of two parts it's not the um not all those bathroom habits you're just going to get the the essentials that help me be a better become a better athlete and a better human being so the first part is cold water exposure i'll jump into the shower do my normal shower job and then i will go for us just flip all the way down to the coldest it goes at the moment because it's getting to winter it gets really fucking cold which is great um and i will just get on there for as much time as i can i usually brush my teeth at the same time so i'm getting, doing two things at once and the kind of the purpose of this is it's going to be a massive testosterone boost it's it's nice on the mindset in terms of some resilience and stoicism you get out of there and like any moodiness or grogginess is just completely gone and you have to focus on the situation if you're not focusing um on the pain or the pain the intensity is probably a better way of doing it. if you're not focusing on the cold you want to get out of there but if you focus on it it's all absolutely fine and then part two is actually something that i've massively underestimated until now and that's just the simple act of shaving okay so if it's 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 underestimated because not many people kind of make it into a, a a privilege and a routine that serves you. And the reason why is because like I I run three businesses at the moment, um, soon to be two for for reasons. But I run three fairly time consuming businesses, and it's very easy for you as a kind of a man or a woman who is just busy in life to to forget to look after yourself and put other people first but when i'm in that when i'm in that bathroom it is just me i've got no music on i'm not distracted and it just like it makes me understand that i come first that i am the priority and if i can't look after myself in the same way i train the whole time like instead of let my business overrun my life it's the same thing with shaving so it forces me to look after myself and just treat myself with a bit of respect. So that was a really nice daily ritual. I actually use a company called Cornerstone at the moment because it just makes it easier for me. So I get some good quality blades. I've got sexy as fuck handle, um, which means I can just, um, I get all the blades I need. It's good quality stuff. I think it's organic and it is just great. Um, it's like really, really good stuff. I can't recommend it enough. And then I'll finish my morning routine. I, oh, sorry, uh, the last part of my morning routine, I will go and do some Duolingo. Um, if you haven't heard, heard of that, that's a, an app that helps you learn a language. Um, because je suis en train d'apprendre le français. Um, I'm learning French, basically, and it helps me. And it's like 10, 15 minutes of becoming better. And that whole process takes about two hours to two hours of 15. Um, and then I'm ready to go into what I call deep work. So the first part of my day is blocked out to to just feel great it's um it's like deep work is a great book by cal newport actually if you haven't read it i would highly recommend it whatever your job is but it, i just do three hours of like uninterrupted pure kind of expressive work where i have to think hard um and the whole point of that morning routine is to maximize that deep work so without further ado that is the end of this show. Thank you so much for listening. Um, I'll be back soon with another interview with a world-class performer, whether that's a CrossFit athlete or a coach or a random guy that I've thought is incredibly interesting and has some habits to teach you. That will be me. I'll be back soon. You can check us out at alphamovement.co or facebook.com slash alphamovementofficial. And if you want, you can find the Alpha Athletes page 2.0 on Facebook where you can live stream all my podcasts and ask your questions directly to some of the biggest names in CrossFit and strength and conditioning. So have a great week. I shall see you guys soon.